Hello everyone and welcome again to ES Repair. I'm your host, Wiz Kid. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a CD player radio and the cassette part of it. I know, like I said earlier with the VCRs, if you've seen that show, cassettes are about obsolete so it's kind of useless but some people still use them including me. But has it like your uh, cassette started mumbling the words or eating tapes and your CDs don't play or they sound funny? Well, I'm going to show you how you get to help fix that. For starters, sorry for the angle here of the head down in there. Same with that principle with the VCR. You take your aerosol can, blow the dust out really good. Like I said, make sure it's all unplugged first. And just then take your cotton swab. If you got foam ones, that's even better. They don't leave a lint behind. And just kind of like I've done before, just clean all the. Any place with the cassette rolls at, the head, the wheels, tracks. Since my knee, I got this off my knees and since they're mostly into CD and everything, this tape thing shouldn't be too dirty. Because their world, like most kings nowadays, their world is. CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, and MP3, MP3 players. players. <laughs> no Gu comment from the... Guilty. No comment from the cameraman. Anyway, Guilty. then you clean that. Clean the head real good. And I hope that you can see real good there. This door doesn't pop off good. Clean all everything and clean your record head and race head. Playback head. And the dirtier it is, the worse it's going to be, and the worse it is, the longer it's going to take to clean because you just have to keep going over and over until the q tip finally comes clean. But like in the VCR movie, I'm using SLX denatured alcohol. I bought it at Walmart a couple years ago. Be honest about it, I haven't really seen it since then. Check off the excess and just keep cleaning. And this same procedure can be used in a 12 volt car radio or any radio. Just make sure power is killed to it. And you can but on a car radio, you'll have to open it up, maybe, if you can't come in through the cassette door. If you can't come in through the cassette door, then you'll have to take the top off with the screws. Okay. And you've also got non-slip fluid that you can rub over the stuff, like the contacts or rubber parts. And they also have what they call a wet audio head cleaner kit, which is better than a dry because the wet kind of lubricates it or it's not as abrasive on the head. You just take it out, put a few drops on it, following the instructions on the thing, on the tape there, and then put it there and just play like you would a regular tape. You've also got a head cleaner and demagnetizer. As the tape travels over the head, the little magnetic field off the tape where stored in magnetic bodies, kind of like on a hard drive or something. It creates a little magnetism. So you use this to, with the demagnetizer cleaner to get rid of the magnetation. And 
for the CD part. You got your head there. You do not want to touch that head with anything. So what you do, just blow it out real good. Let's blow it out real good. I make a thing called a laser lens cleaner. This works for DVDs, CDs, and possibly Blu-rays. It's got these little brushes on there that brush over the head and clean hit. You do not want to take a cotton swab or your finger to it. You just put it on there like you would normally see, shut the door, and and for putting the cassette in there, allow plenty of time to dry. Plug it up, turn it on, and set it to CD. If it don't start playing on its own, just hit play. It's got an audio track to it that you listen to it in direction. use one of the most advanced CD laser lens cleaning systems available. In just a matter of seconds, this disc will safely and thoroughly clean the delicate laser lens of your compact disc player. During the brief 20 second cleaning cycle, every bit of dirt and dust, right down to the smallest particles of airborne pollutants, will be swept away from the laser lens of your CD player. After this cleaning, your CD player will be more precise when reading the digital data recorded on your compact disc, providing you with outstanding reproduction, as well as added clarity and detail. When you hear the tone, skip ahead to track four to begin the cleaning cycle. Just follow directions and let it do its thing. The laser lens cleaning process is now concluded. To maintain your CD player's highest sound quality, your system's laser lens should be cleaned after every 10 hours of use. You may press stop and eject to remove this disc now, or you can skip to track 5 for a short musical system test. And when the cycle complete, all you have to do you eject your CD cleaner and then insert your music and try it out. If it works, you did a good job. If it don't, then you can try clean it again a couple times. If it still don't work, then it might be time for a technician to take it to a technician and have it properly serviced. Thank you for watching. This is ES Repair. Thank you.